Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of 760 News. This is Stringer Dave here. We have a very special episode for you guys today. I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of uh, comments of people wanting to know what's inside of our units. Uh, so today we have a very special episode, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you guys comment down below. We got a very special episode today. We're going to show you our 760 mobile unit. Thank you for joining us once again. This is a very special episode of 760 News TV. This is Stringer Dave, and we've been getting a lot of requests uh, from a lot of our viewers. Everybody knows that curious to see uh, what's inside of our, our mobile units. Uh, I know uh, a lot of people have seen our, our mobile units throughout the Coachella Valley, especially during the late night hours, and especially responding to uh, certain incidents and some scenes. Uh, so now, uh, today we're going to give you guys a special inside look, uh, an exclusive inside look inside of our units and to show you guys what kind of equipment we have inside of our cars inside of our uh on every single one of our uh our persons as well and what kind of safety equipment we have and we use to uh capture the news so here we go all right guys so first uh, let's start off with uh what we have on our persons on each uh of the uh, journalists and stringers that are out there for 760 news tv well first of all as you guys can see we have the word press uh, and media and our insignia and our logos are uh, very clear, very visible uh, throughout ourselves because we mostly respond at night. And here in the Coachella Valley, it's pretty dark outside, especially some of the rural areas that we respond to. So we want to make sure that we're highly visible to law enforcement, to first responders, and also to um, uh, to everybody that's uh, on the scene as well too, so they don't confuse us for law enforcement um, or else uh, as well as too for the suspects not confuse us with law enforcement as well. Uh, like I said, we do respond to a lot of uh, uh, calls that are uh, in areas that are, that are very dark or not very well lit or some rural areas and desert areas here in the Coachella Valley so we uh, we got to be safe so we got to make sure that uh, we show off our, our logos and that we uh, show off that we're pressing media and of course we all have our badges as well too uh, clearly visible uh, with us at all times when we get out of the unit as well as too we all have body cams each uh, stringer has a body cam the body cam captures every single incident. The, the second that we respond to a call, these body cams, they turn on and they record the whole entire incident until we actually clear the whole entire scene. Uh, they document and capture everything, everything from conversations to uh, reports to everything that we see. Uh, this camera does not blink, does not stop. It records everything completely. And we do archive that just for um, our safety purposes. And we also have that for ourselves as well too. Uh, just to make sure that we're all safe when we respond to uh, some of these calls uh, and to respond to some of these stories as well. So that's a very important piece of equipment that we do have as well on our persons. Um, when we do step out of the units, we also have our, um, our walkie-talkies. Our walkie-talkies, we're able to communicate with our home base and also as well as we're also able to hear our law enforcement scanners and our public safety first responder scanners, uh, radio traffic uh, on those devices as well too as we're at the location so we can hear actually the event uh, progress um, and we can actually hear what's going on when we're actually at the scene uh, when we're not inside of our vehicles so that's also a very handy tool that we do also carry uh, very important tool as well too we do carry masks we do uh, practice uh, safe uh, safe uh, responses as well too we do keep our six feet of distance and we have to interview somebody we do do it within uh, six feet uh, within uh, whoever we're interviewing as well and then we also make sure that we take proper precautions we have hand sanitizer inside the unit as well too just in case uh, we have any kind of contact or anything like that as well all right so one very important piece of equipment that we do have that we do utilize and we do practice safety on every single call that we do go into uh, when we usually go to a call that's uh, that's on the freeway or road or a traffic collision or anything like that that's going to involve any kind of traffic or us uh, stepping in front of traffic or moving vehicles uh, we all wear our vests our safety vests our safety vests consist of press and these are reflective and these are able uh, to see from a long distance at nighttime even especially in low light they're all reflective and stuff like that and each one of our, our stringers uh, they do have a certain set of these that they do wear and that we are required to wear uh, when we are actually are on the scene uh, just for safety 
Uh, we always want to be safe out there. This is a dangerous job, and we want to make sure that we stay safe uh, whenever we respond to a call. So when we also go to certain calls, especially like a barricaded suspect, uh, possible shooting in progress, or a call where a SWAT team and uh, tactical units are engaged into a call or a calls in progress of that matter, uh, we also have tactical equipment, or sometimes when we report to like, let's say a protest, a riot, or some kind of uh, uh, unlawful uh, gathering, uh, we do have our helmets that we do wear. Stuff like that, they're clearly marked in media as well too. So we do use these uh, as well too uh, when we actually go to our calls. Alright guys, so now uh, we kind of showed you what we wear uh, and what we have in our persons as far as each stringer. Now let's take a look at the units. Uh, this is the uh, 760 uh, News Team uh, TV unit that we have. Let's uh, take a look. So first off, uh, let's take a look at the outside of the units as you can tell. Uh, we have clear markings on our vehicles that we are news press. And as you can see, we also have uh, safety lights, the amber and whites. We have one on the top. We also have them in the back of our, our units. Uh, we use these for safety, like I said. Uh, the reason is because uh, sometimes we do pull up to areas where there, it's extremely dark. And we want oncoming traffic to know that uh, we're out that we're out there filming, and that to slow down and at least be cautious of where we're at. So uh, we do uh, use these uh, very often. Uh, I know most stringers don't have uh, visible lights on their units uh, in some of the areas, but some of the areas that they have, uh, they're concealed lighting like this. Uh, it's because they're in a very metropolitan area. So obviously, there's a lot of street lights. A lot of lights and stuff like that going on so uh, we, we utilize safety like I said here in the desert guys it's really dark sometimes so we have to make sure that we utilize safety as much as we can especially when we're responding to calls that are in the dark our units are all blacked out these are Toyota Priuses they are very uh, gas uh, savers they do save us on gas we do travel a lot we do put in a lot of miles every night we go from one end of the Coachella Valley to the other end uh, typically a few times a night to respond to different uh, types of various calls so we do have uh, our units uh, these cars are small they're quick they're fast and they're friendly to the environment they are hybrid uh, so the uh, they work on energy and they also work on gas but at the same time too as well they uh, they get us to our scene safely and quickly as possible all right guys so now let's take you guys inside of the units to show you what we have on our interior and the kind of equipment that we use uh, when we're monitoring the radios and the calls uh, before we respond to uh, one of these stories uh, to present to you guys. So let's take a look inside the vehicle. Alright, so this is what the interior of um, the unit looks like. If you look right over here, we do have one of our scanners. Uh, this is one of our mobile scanners that we do have. Uh, this uh, has a certain channels uh, from different types of first responders, such as... Uh, PDs and fire departments and then we also have another base unit scanner if you guys can see it right underneath there that one has everything uh, from CHP all the way down to uh, every single fire department and all their attack channels and also have another one that's inside that place throughout the whole entire sound system of the vehicle as well um, and then th that uh, we utilize that as well too to listen to different uh, channels and uh, to different uh, traffic that goes on uh, when we're responding to these calls. So let's take a look at the laptop that we have inside. So the laptop here, guys. Hold on one second. So uh, we do have laptops in our units. Our laptops in our units also come equipped with Wi-Fi. Our laptops have the Sheriff's Department. Um, and they have the uh, CHP call logs. They also have the fire uh, incident call logs. So we can actually see what, what kind of calls are being dispatched out to certain parts of the yeah, Coachella Valley, certain parts of the county. And then we also can see the types of traffic that uh, CHP is actually going to as well too. So this is all public information, guys. This is all really cool stuff, but we also have this as well. We also have a specialized software that we use to get dispatched to our certain calls. Uh, and then here we can actually track information. And then this is how uh, we actually track our information as well, too. And then later on, we use it to do our reporting. 
and to build our, our information as well. Copy. So like I said, we do have a scanner here uh, that has a certain channels that are playing. We also have the other scanner that is underneath the laptop that is playing as well underneath the laptop mount. And we also have uh, the lap the speaker right here on the bottom uh, that amplifies the scanner uh, so we can actually hear uh, the calls come out. And it's underneath here. I'm sorry it's not very well lit, guys. We are filming this at nighttime. And then here's the lighting controls uh, to the lights that you saw in the overheads. We do have our cell phone holders. We do have a dash cam that we do use up on here as well, too. And we utilize this uh, to uh, record a call. So when we respond to a call, uh, we use these. So that way we film every single moment uh, when we're responding to a, a call. All right, so now let's show you guys what else we have. We also have our cameras. These are the cameras that we use uh, when we're on scene. Uh, these are very high quality cameras. These are the Canon's uh, XA11s. These are very portable, small, but powerful. They're very good in low light. We also have a shotgun mic, a light for uh, low light situations, and also the wireless receiver that we have for our microphone systems and stuff like that. And then we can also broadcast from our vehicles as well if we need to, uh, to a live stream or whatever we need to do uh, any broadcast from. So these are our workhorses. This is what we utilize every single time. We also have a cell phone um, connector in here as well. So this is how we actually do our on-scene uh, segments. Uh, we put this on our tripods and then we put our cell phone here and this is how we discuss about what's going on uh, on the scenes. These are very high quality cameras. We love these cameras. Uh, they're not big. They're not super bulky. They're not the ones that you use over the shoulder anymore. Uh, these are very digital. These have a high capacity. Uh, these yeah, you can actually use um, for hours and filming and stuff. And it has an internal uh, hard drive and we also have the external hard drives and we also keep those very clean and reformatted every single time we come out uh, onto the field. So these are great cameras to use. These are the cameras that we use to film our, our news and these are our workhorses. One thing I did forget to mention and forget to show you guys is the actual uh, antennas. We do have a few antennas on top of our cars. These are the expanding uh, antennas for our scanners. Uh, so that way we're able to pick up the frequencies and the radio traffic, uh, even if we're uh, far away from the receiving areas or from the repeaters. Uh, these are great. They work in all weather and they're uh, on top of our unit. So we do have several of these antennas on our vehicle. Uh, that we do utilize. All right guys, so that was a quick overview of uh, what we have inside of our units and what we have and what we carry. Uh, we do have a couple other uh, pieces of equipment that we cannot show unfortunately uh, because it is proprietary equipment and it's proprietary uh, intellectual property stuff that we have. Um, it falls into the whole entire uh, industry secrets and stuff like that. Nothing illegal guys, but it's just stuff that we can't show uh, because of competition and other kinds of uh, source issues that we might have. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's a quick overview as to what we have in our units and what we have uh, to use on our everyday uh, missions out here. Like I said, we do exercise a lot of safety. Uh, we do work hard to get you guys the stories. Uh, we do, <laughs> contrary to what you guys see on TV, um, we do drive the speed limit, but we do get to scenes uh, very quickly, but we get there very safely. Uh, we do utilize our safety equipment at all times. Uh, we all want to go home and be able to tell the stories and be able to uh, give you guys in the information and feed you the stories uh, safely and we want to go home to our families every night. So if you guys haven't done so already guys, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. My name is Stringer Dave, 760 News TV Live guys, coming in next time for you guys. You guys take care, we'll see you guys on the next one.